if this is any indication of how the rest of the uh, month will go, my shirt is backwards and inside out. Well, hello there, and welcome to Teresa in the car. I'm heading off to my local yarn shop, Hand Banged Knits, and I'm going to crochet on Caitlin's cute little kitty cat that I am crocheting her for Christmas. And I've got to stop at the pharmacy, so check it. Like, I'm out. I'm out driving a vehicle. I'm in line at Walgreens to get my prescription. I've been sitting here for like 15, 20 minutes and the lady in front of me is seriously screaming and yelling at the employee inside. I can't get out of the line because there's like four people behind me. <laughs> Welcome to the outside world, Teresa. Mm. Oh my gosh. She's like cussing them out. My life is so funny. <laughs> that took so long. And my thought in my head is like, I hope that lady's picking up her Xanax. <laughs> getting dark so there's not gonna be that much light but you guys I swear to God you cannot make this up so I don't go to like downtown Brooksville very often and um, when I do it's like just straight to this niche shop so I, you know I just was like oh my god what's happening there's food trucks there's an ambulance like I don't know what's going on like who has a food truck and an ambulance at the same time? I don't know. And there's cars everywhere. Par no parking. Everyone's parked on the street. Every single parking lot full. So I pull into a church and I'm like, I pull down a place to park. There's no places to park, but now I have to back out. So I like really quick, like pull into a um, like little grassy nook and I call the yarn shop. And I'm like, and at this point, like wherever I would have parked, I would have had to probably drive or walk uphill both ways in the snow for like an hour before I got there. So I call her, I call and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. And apparently it is the tree lighting ceremony in downtown Hellsville. I'm just kidding, I love Brooksville. Um, so I drove around for like, I don't even know, like 20 minutes. And I'm legit freaking out at this point because any, it's all like these weird one way streets. And anytime I'd have to like pass over a two lane street going one way to get to where I needed to go, if a car was nice enough to stop to let me go, there were people crossing the street. And then if people were nice enough to stop, not cross the street, because people were walking all around, like there wasn't c cars driving anywhere. So if someone was nice enough to stop to let me go, then the cars wouldn't let me go. <laughs> and as I told her, I'm like, if I'm driving around for like another 15 or minutes or so, I'll see you tomorrow. It won't be knit. I mean, you can go there and knit anytime you want. 
So I'll go in there tomorrow. But like now I have a dye day planned tomorrow, so I, I won't get to sit and knit or anything. I just, I'll just have to go, go in. Um, they have some yarn that they ordered from me that I need to give them. So, and it's my husband's birthday. So he was gonna, he was gonna pop like a veggie lasagna in the oven and we were gonna eat together. <laughs> I called him and he's like, he's picking up McDonald's then. I was like, yes, <laughs> so over this day. I'm gonna eat me a double cheeseburger with a large fry and then a large Diet Coke. <sighs> Anyways, it's getting dark. I'm driving home. But guess what? That means that means I can go home and start my candy cane striped socks. I'm very excited about the only uh because for color work I go up in needle size and the only I don't want to go up to a two. I usually use a US one for socks, but I don't want to go to, to a US two. I have signature needle DPNs in a 2.5 millimeter, which is like a US 1.5. So I'm super excited. I don't normally use DPNs, but I always feel like a badass when I do. So I'm excited about that, and um, and to use my signature my signature needle arts. I'm getting McDonald's. I'll talk to you guys when I get home. Cozy Knitter 24 Stripe Advent, Advent Skein. This is the first stripe. And I stopped at the color change because I'm going to be knitting Lofty Loops Cold Brew pattern. I will link that below, but it's a really fun pattern for self-striping or scrappy socks. It gives a little bit of a, a little bouginess to it. And I have two of them because I am knitting them in tandem so that I can get all the stripes done and have them to wear on Christmas Day. And the plan is to knit a um, basically like an afterthought everything type of sock. With those Speedster sock machine. And I did the cuff on the machine and I started like at the same color with the same amount of tail. That way when I crank the second tube it will be exactly the same. And what I did was I went down to the 24th stripe. So it's going to be a very long sock. But I picked up so what I, and then what I did was I went down to the tube and cut it again so that I could get this color stripe turn this way, so that I could get this color stripe because I really like to do um, like a bullseye effect with an afterthought heel. And then what I'm going to do after the heel is done is I can try it on and then just kind of see where I need to pick up for my toe 
and then I'm going to just rip back and use all stripes to knit the toe. So there's going to be no other, I did get the mini skein, but I decided not to use it. So this way it will be all stripes. So take that out so that it doesn't spoil anybody for that. Um, so far I only have cranked the first tube <clears throat> and worked on that. Now I'm going to pick the camera up and show you. I'm going to start working on and have already cast it on the candy cane stripes pattern by the crazy sock lady. And I put this up here because I just thought that was stinking cute. But I do have <laughs> the main skein hanging out over here. And I am super excited because when I knit color work, I go up in needle size. And normally for my socks, I use a US one. And I just happen to have these beautiful signature needle arts in a US 1.5. So hopefully that's big enough because I don't have a size 2. I think it should be because my gauge is looser on DPNs. And it's been a really long time since I've knit a pair of socks on D DPNs. So I'm super excited. And that is what I'm going to be working on tonight. I was going to be working on Caitlin's uh, Christmas present, but we all saw what happened there. Never made it to the yarn store, so I will have to work on that at another time. And my grandma is now needing something, so I gotta go. But I will check back in with you and say goodnight um, before the day is over.